I'm going to call us conversators because I'm really street like that. I like to conversate with my friends who are sad or down, whatever. Down means something else on the street. Um, I have been away because I have been so busy. It's the last week of school. Well, there's a half a week next week. Um, and my ki two kids are at two separate schools, and I'm overextended um, uh, volunteering to do shit at both their schools. But uh, I wanted to ask you guys, have you heard this thing that Cher had her pores removed? Can you do even have your pores removed? It seems like it would poison you if you had your pores removed. Somebody told me that this week, and frankly, it was somebody who should know better. I mean, I think it was like a makeup artist or something. I can't remember. I have no memory, no retention anymore. Is there a separate term for retention? Or is that included under the umbrella of memory? But somebody told me that Cher had her pores removed, and it was somebody who should have known better. And that probably includes anybody. Anybody should have known. Um, Sam, I say no recaps. F the people who haven't bothered to watch all our videos. Screw them. Uh, the Vertigo stuff I find fascinating, and I'm, I'm happy to have a new thing to be terrified of getting. Thanks, everybody. Um, Jane, when you talked about the chemicals and everything, I really hate chemicals and air fresheners and stuff, too. I think I'd rather smell B.O. than that. But uh, what was priceless about the Vertigo thing is that then Steve posted a video. Here I am recapping. Uh, where he's talking about, he's revisiting the vertigo topic, and he's sitting near his kitchen, and on the kitchen counter in his new apartment is positively cluttered with cleaning products. Having children has definitely affected my career. My husband is also in show business. His career takes precedence because he makes more money than I do. Also, I made choices to not work as much and stay at home with my kids and to change the way I work, which is uh, I moved from L.A. to New York when I was, um, I had just had a baby. And the minute he got in school, I had another baby. Um, and I wrote a book, and I do lots of voiceovers, and I do stage work, um, but I don't do a lot of on-camera work, and that's okay with me, because for precisely what Michael was talking about, which is, I don't need those continual daily blows to my ego. Uh, when I would go on auditions in New York, I'd be with a room full of normal-looking people, and when I go on auditions here, it would be me and uh, supermodels. And they all knew each other. So it wasn't very good for my, my happiness and ego. Um, oh, I know what I was going to do. This, this used to work for me, guys. I had terrible allergies as a kid, and it felt like bugs were crawling inside my head and trying to claw their ways out. Bugs with claws. Um, and I used to make myself sneeze, yell, sneeze like this. See, you don't have to use a... You don't have to twist up a fucking tissue. You're such drama queens. You just use a Q-tip. I mean, how long are your passages, guys? I took a Zyrtec this morning, so I don't know if this is going to work. Say that a sneeze is kind of like an orgasm. Oh, I think I hit the, <laughs> the G spot. Okay. I feel some water building up in my eyes. You know, uh, Louis C.K. had a joke last year. Oh, yeah, it's watering. Uh, where he said he realized, I think it might have been in his show, which was really funny, his show on FX where he went to the doctor, and Ricky Gervais played the doctor, and he said, like, I realized that, like, when I woke up this morning, this is as good as I'm going to feel. It's just going to go downhill from here. 
and I'm gonna feel horrible, like shit, and um, never feel better than I feel. And when I wake up in the morning, sometimes I think about that. It's so depressing. I'm not getting anything, guys. Like I'm going really deep too. Oh. Well, I'm afraid to pull this out because it might have something on it. So I'm just gonna say goodbye.